Hey up everyone. Yeah, so as you all know, like I'm following this ketogenic diet thing. Yeah. Um, and like the reason why I'm doing it is because I want to live longer. Um, I did like a whole video about it. Called, I think it was called um, Here's to Living to Be 130. If you want to re scroll down and find it. Uh, but I go into all the science and everything and why I'm doing it and blah, blah, blah. But like, but whatever, that's the reason why I was doing it. But the thing is that like, there's been loads and loads of science done around this. Um, but there's not been any human trials. Because um, it needs to be a longevity thing anyhow, right? Um, there's been loads of animal trials. There's some like mice and rats and primates and stuff. And like, the results are massively encouraging. Like, lowest is like 40%. I've seen results that have come out 80% longer life. That's like nearly an entire lifetime extra. Just by fasting and stuff. So... So whatever, I consider myself to be be like basically a human guinea pig who's testing this out. We don't know if it's going to work, but we think it might. Do you know what I mean? And like, like I've never had a problem with a weight problem or anything like that. I could always just eat whatever I wanted. I've got a high metabolism. My, my leg, I'm always jigging my leg and twitching and moving about and stuff. I'm a bit of a twitcher, so I, I use a lot of energy up and stuff. So I've never had a problem. I've never really had to modify my diet or anything like that. I've never had a problem with food at all. So this is the first time that I've ever done it, and I found it really, really hard at first. Confusing myself food, all I could think about was food all the time, I was just fucking starving all the time. But it just got easier and easier and easier, until now, I don't even think about it. I don't get hungry, even though I'm fasting, I don't get hungry at all. And that's the thing, is that sometimes I go way, way past eight hours, I look about and go, oh, fucking hell, I ain't eating for 15 hours, I better have something to fucking eat. I just don't even think about food at all, I just, whatever. And because my body's just so used to not having any food, it don't complain, I don't, I don't get hunger pangs or anything like that. Um, so, so yeah, it's like... I'm finding it a lot easier. But like what I say about being a guinea pig is um, I basically, my cat is my guinea pig. I've, I've basically put her on the same regime. I mean, she's a carnivore anyhow. She only eats me anyhow. So, however, unfortunately, she can't get into ketosis because only humans can do that. <laughs> but whatever, she's fasting, right? And at first, oh my God, she was not happy. <laughs> she was not happy with me not feeding her. <laughs> constantly crying at me to feed her. It was awful. It was awful. Like, no, you have to wait. You have to wait. She's like, wait. <laughs> like, wait, you've got to wait. Anyhow, she's been doing it for about a year now. She's, she's totally got used to it. She don't, she don't complain at all. She knows she'll get fed. She just has to wait. Do you know what I mean? And she's, she's, she's slotted into the, into the regime. It's like she finds it. She must find it as easy as I do. Because today, right, for first time ever, I totally forgot to feed her, right? I totally forgot to feed her. I think it's because I've got a fast food thing. I don't usually eat fast food. Because I'm fucking lost and just full of carbs in here. But there's like this little grill place that does some nice, um, some nice lamb chops and does quite nice kebab meat and stuff. So I got that. So the thing was, I want cooking. And I usually, when I, I go, all right, I'm going to have something to eat and I start to cook and that's when I feed her usually. And I think it was because I didn't cook that I totally forgot to feed her. And yeah, I was like, whatever, it's fucking five hours since I should have fed cat, right? And she hadn't complained. Oh, it's been 13 hours since she at last had something to eat. She's not complained at all. No, <laughs> right? And then, right, I put the bowl down, full bowl of meat for her. And she tucks in, I thought, oh, she's, look, she's well hungry, right? And then she gets up and walks off. Oh, look, she's only eaten half of it. I'm like, what the fuck? You haven't had anything to eat for 13 hours and you're not even eating all your meat or whatever, whatever. She's just not asked at all. She's not asked. It's proper, it's weird. She's exactly she's got the same sort of attitude to it as what I have, do you know what I mean? <laughs> But if she lives to be 25, I don't know, then it fucking works. I hope she lives to be 25. I don't want her to die. It's <laughs> the worst thing about pets, isn't it? They never live longer than you. They need to get a tortoise or something. You'll outgrow, you'll outlive a tortoise. The tortoise will outlive you, so. Whatever. And now, yeah. I don't want to go into depressing things talking about pets dying because that's never a pleasant subject, is it? I should say, my cat says she's not, she doesn't complain, poor bugger, I didn't feed her for five hours. 
Let it feed for 13 hours. <laughs> whatever. She didn't seem to be asked at all. So, whatever. Thanks for not making my life a misery. Cat. Not that my cat will ever watch this YouTube video, but whatever. Just shut up, Ferdy. Shut up.